And now, on with the show. Welcome to the Normal West High School Auditorium, and thank you for joining us for Concert 2017. Tonight we celebrate a Halloween spooktacular. Before the eerie extravaganza gets underway, we have a few haunted housekeeping items to share. Flash photography is forbidden during tonight's performance. We have plenty of fresh plots in our cemetery for anyone who cannot keep his or her camera in their pocket. Also, many young, impressionable minds have joined us this evening. They may find aspects of the spectacular stimulating. Parents are encouraged to support their children's enthusiasm, but remember, restraints are available if needed. Now, sit back, relax, and prepare to be petrified as the Normal West Orchestras present Hot Cert 2017 under the direction of conductor Kimberly Martin Boyd.
Excuse me. Great Scott. Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you a spy? Are you here to steal my research? No, I'm not here to steal your research. I'm Harmony Hart. Hart. I'm hoping your student teacher, I'm from the ISU music department. Mrs. Boyd told me I should Ah, yes, find yes, yes, yes. Okay. I am Professor Presto Pianissimo, you see. I'm a renowned musicologist. Can't you see, I'm in the middle of some very important experiments here. So I have to ask you, who is this Mrs. Boyd? Uh, it rings no bells. Is she a spy? Um, not, not that I'm aware of. She's the orchestra director here. Uh, this is her annual concert. Concert? Concert. This? This doesn't look like that much to me. You see, I'm a musicologist. I am researching the nature of the perfect song. What are its elements? What is the formula for the perfect song? This is what I must find out. Now, if you're here to help me, you can stay. But if not, I must ask you to go. I would love to help. And I bet Mrs. Boyd would want to help, too. I'd really rather not. I'm just kind of busy conducting the concert. Yes, you keep saying that. All right, so <laughs> would it be OK maybe if I told a joke? Yeah, that'd be great. Me. Just uh, give me a second to remind my real student teacher, uh, Mr. Akers, that he should lock the doors next time when we get ready to start our concert. So just let me go do that real quick. Yes, to the joke. <laughs> what does it take to become a member of a zombie orchestra? Dedication. Dedication. Okay, since that one went over so well, maybe one more. Why did the zombie comedian get booted off the stage? Because the jokes they told were rotten? Let I'll me, work on that. Let me tell you something. I am actually an expert on zombies. I will tell you all about them, and maybe some good jokes, while we conduct our next experiment. Mr. Akers, some appropriate music, please. Perhaps James Meredith's Zombie Tango?
think, Professor? Do you think that got us any closer to finding the perfect song? A bit closer, a bit closer. You see, in science, each failed experiment gets us closer to the real answer. Well, that makes sense. <coughs> Professor, before we go any further, I do have to ask you about these experiments. Do you experiment on any animals? Because I cannot help you anymore if you experiment on animals. Animals, animals, good heavens, no. Well, I may have been known to have some human subjects. I would never insult our animals by grouping animals and humans together. Oh, what a relief. Because I just love animals. Puppies, kittens, kangaroos, sloths. I really do love them all. It's funny, you know. You would think that Lion King would have been my favorite Disney movie. But really, I was partial to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, well, what was that? Well, one, that beast was really my kind of prince. <coughs> and two, well, my psychology professor always says I self-identified with Bell's Stockholm Syndrome, but I didn't really understand what she was saying. I see, I see. Um, well, why don't we set up for the next experiment, perhaps Mrs. Boyd, you could provide us with a tune that will soothe Harmony's spirit. Um, highlights from Disney's Beauty and the Beast, I think, will do the trick.
my, that beast was a bit concerning. See, I don't know anything about beasts. Um, aside from music, ghosts really are my area of expertise. Oh, and zombies. I was gonna say ghosts, zombies. Yeah, Is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am an expert in solving ghost problems. You see, just last month, I helped a friend solve a paranormal problem in their apartment. <clears throat> You see, they were convinced that there was something wrong with their bathroom. They kept hearing music every time they went to the toilet. Uh, unfortunately, it was just Beethoven's last movement. <laughs> My goodness, that's very clever of you. I really don't know much about beasts, ghosts, vampires, zombies, toilets, or really anything. Well, you see, as a musicologist, I find it all very thrilling. What do you say, Mrs. Boyd? How about giving us something thrilling? If the experiment goes well, I might even be able to summon up some dancing wildcats from the normal wet land scene. Look what you made me do. 
That's what you made me do. No, 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 no. I mean, I totally sing along when I hear that song, don't you? Um, no. And if I did, I would not admit it in front of company. <laughs> but you might be onto something there about this catchiness. I also heard that children who attend concerts can catch the desire to play instruments. Mrs. Boyd, could we invite the fourth graders up here? Definitely. Tell them what to do. All right, I will. <laughs> Any students who are currently in fourth grade are enjoyed, in, invited to join us up on the stage for this portion of the concert. We'll play something catchy as soon as you guys are in place. So come on up here. Come on. <coughs> Any fourth grade students? Wanted to win the Nobel Prize. 
Ah, uh, that was wonderful. I enjoyed that. It was fun. That's one of my favorites, for sure. You know, even without my experiments, I feel like we've made some exceptional progress tonight. Perhaps maybe one more experiment from the orchestra? But this will be serious business now, so I will need your complete and total attention. If that's the case, then I think we need a very serious song. Something that captures the gravity and drama of the moment. Oh, I know it. I know it. I know the perfect piece. It's delightfully tragic. The rhythmic beating of the drums, it brings a mind, to mind a well-known poem. Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. Mrs. Boyd, what do you think about the West Chamber Orchestra playing The Evil Eye and The Hideous Heart?
that wonderful? The orchestra knows how to put on a concert. I would say this definitely qualifies as a Halloween spooktacular, if that's what the kids are calling it these days. I know, and I noticed as I look out into the crowd all the ghouls and goblins that this, this event has attracted. Who knew music could call forth the spirits so effectively? My dear girl, I think that's just the audience. Oh, just the audience. Okay. Ah, uh, well, if that's the case, I think we need to take a few minutes to announce our special raffle winners. When you hear your name, please come down here in front of the stage to collect your prize. This is the Hanser costume drawing, kids only, okay? <laughs> Chloe Solberg.
spectacular has just been amazing, hasn't it? Harmony, I do believe you're right. I can't remember the last time I enjoyed a concert so much. Why? I dare say it was almost perfect. Well, do you think that means then we don't need to keep trying to create the perfect song? Maybe what makes a perfect song is the way it makes you feel and the company you keep. He can't. You're right. We may have stumbled on the answer to our question. I feel like Michael Faraday when Maxwell's equations verified his ideas. <coughs> you know? I don't know, but maybe you would say it's wicked. What do you say, Mrs. Boyd? How about giving us something wicked?
Please remain in your seats until all of our performers have cleaned up their failed experiments and taken their bows. Also, please remember to check the area around you in case you've left in any microscopes or beakers or safety goggles. Also, please uh, account for all of your children as any left behind can become part of my future experiments. The professor and I believe in supporting the arts, but the psychology experiments that I was involved in, remember, I have to participate in for college credit. They don't pay very well. And Professor is a musicology teacher, after all. So if you'd like to make a donation to help defray the cost of tonight's performance, orchestra students from Parkside and Kingsley Junior High will be posted at the exits. Thank you, and good night.